How do sailboats sail into the wind? So, you probably know that this is a sailboat. You probably also know that sailboats move because the wind pushes the sail, right? But did you know that it is also possible for a sailboat to sail into the wind? What? No way! Crazy, right? This is possible because of the Bernoulli Principle. It was published by mathematician and physicist Daniel Bernoulli in 1738. To understand this principle, let's first talk about a force called lift. Lift is one of the forces an airplane uses to fly. It pushes objects up against gravity. Lift occurs because of a change in pressure between the top and bottom of a surface. This is called an airfoil. As you can see, the top is curved. When the airfoil begins to move quickly through air, because of the curvature of the airfoil, the air on top of the airfoil has to travel a longer distance to get past the airfoil than the air below it. As a result, the air on top moves faster than the air below. That's where the Bernoulli principle comes in. Air is a fluid, and the Bernoulli principle tells us that when a fluid begins to increase in speed, its pressure decreases. So. When the airfoil moves, the faster air above it has lower pressure, while the slower air below has high pressure. Because of the higher pressure below, there is lift on the airfoil from below, and this causes the airfoil to move in an upward direction. Now, think of an airfoil as a wing. By the process of the creation of low and high pressure on the top and bottom of the wing during takeoff, a plane is able to lift into the sky. But how is lift defined? It's defined by the equation L equals one half rho V squared times A times C L. Rho is the density of the air, which is about 1.225 kilograms per meters cubed. V is the velocity, CL is the coefficient of lift, and A is the area of the wing. Using this equation, we can determine how much lift is needed to allow an object to fly. Okay, so now that we have understood what lift does, what does this have to do with a sailboat sailing into the wind? How can a sailboat sail into the wind? We can assume that the sail is simply an airfoil, but sideways. Here, we are looking at the sail from up above. This is the bow, which is the front. And the stern is the back of the boat. On the sail, there is a windward and a leeward side. The wind is coming from ahead. Some wind passes by the windward side, some on the leeward side. As you can see, the wind passing the leeward side will have to travel farther and faster so low pressure is formed on that side. On the windward side, high pressure is formed. The result is a motion similar to an airplane during takeoff. The sailboat will move mostly sideways, but partially forward. However, on the bottom of the sailboat, underwater, is the keel. The keel counteracts the sideways motion and balances the sailboat. Therefore, the sideways forward motion is turned into just forward motion, thanks to the keel.
Now, let's watch this in action. But this doesn't mean you can sail directly into the wind. For the Bernoulli principle to work on the sails, you can only sail the boat into the wind at a certain angle. On most sailboats, this is about 40 degrees away from the direction of the wind, no less. It can be more, but no less. Some more advanced sailboats can do 30 degrees from the wind, but for most, it is about 40 to 45 degrees. When sailors wish to sail directly in the direction of the wind, they perform a movement called tacking. What they do is sail the boat at, say, 40 degrees away from the direction of the wind one way, then cut across and sail the boat 40 degrees away from the direction of the wind on the other side. By moving in this zigzag form, the boat will move in the direction of the wind. Thanks to the Bernoulli principle, sailors can sail boats in any direction and airplanes are able to fly. The world would be far behind from where it is today if the Bernoulli principle had not been used in these ways. And we're done!